All right, it's that time again. Welcome to another Throwback Thursday. As you can tell, this Thursday we're taking a look at Classics Skyfire. And I know that the name debate is a big thing with a lot of the fans. I'm going to settle it right now. There are toys. They can, we can call them whatever we want. If I want to call this guy Steve for the rest of the time that I have him, then his name is Steve. So let's take a look at Classic Steve here. All right, so this is robot mode. We got the arms, I can go out and in like that. We've got an elbow, we've got a wrist swivel. We've got a swivel at the elbow, which I think is actually kind of cool. You can kind of get away with the, the whole bicep swivel there. And his missiles fire just like that. Very sensitive trigger. Moving on. All right, they can also go back and forth like so. His head can look this way, he can look up, he can look left and right. His legs can go out to here front there, back here, and you can hear the clicks on the ratchets. We got a knee swivel there and there, and he can't really go side to side. The ankles go like this, but that's kind of due to transformation, so... All right. Stands pretty well. Uh, can get a bit back heavy with the backpack, but if you're not digging that, it's detachable, so no worries there. All right. So, we've got the gun here. They can come off and pop into two separate pieces, like so, so he can hold the gun in each hand if you wanted to do that. All right. Uh, these can rotate too. They can also come out of the forearm if you're not digging that. You can just take them off. Okay. As for the head, he comes with this little helmet thing here that you can just pull off. And we take a look at the headstock there. So pretty good representation of the character. This guy is Voyager size, so roughly about seven inches tall. I don't have any figures nearby to size comparison, but he's roughly about seven inches, give or take. All right, so let's take a look at his jet mode. So the first thing you wanna do is straighten out the arms these pieces here will flip around and I'll have to go chase down that missile later. All right. You want to put the feet down like that, peg in the legs like so. This entire front section will fold forward. That piece will fold out. You'll fold these two pieces like so. Uh, you're going to want to put the helmet on him. And then, I think fold it like this. This back piece will need to come out like that. We'll just leave it out of the way for now. And of course, this will come up and fold down like so. All right. So the next thing that we're going to need to do, push the legs in. And then that will allow for all of this. <clears throat> fold in like that. Last step, we're going to need to fold the arms down like so. They'll tab in on the sides right there. And I'll, the arms are on soft ratchets, so that's all soft ratchets right there. What? You can hear my cat back here giving his two cents about this. I don't know if he likes it or hates it, but we'll move on. All right, so then we'll move the wings down like this. We'll move this piece up. And there you go. There's the jet mode. Pretty cool. All right, we got some landing gear here and here. And on the front section, there we go, like that. Rolls, all right, not great. But all right. And yeah, these little gun pieces can move back and forth like so. All right, so you can also fold these down. Take this, and that'll fold out a little gun piece like that, and like that. You can also have this folded over when it's on his back, have him like an armed up kind of mode. Then you can put it like so for a real armored up mode in the jet mode. 
And for the guns, you can kind of uh, put him in the hands when he's in the jet mode. Like that. And like this. If you, you know, really wanted weapon storage. And of course that gives him a ton of weapons in the jet mode. So let's fold up our little landing gear here. And there we go. And that is Classics Skyfire, Jetfire, Steve, whatever we want to call him. It's our toys. We can call him whatever we like. So hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching the review. I will see you tomorrow at Transformers Friday. I'm still looking for the second wave. Hopefully I'll find somebody new to review. Uh, if not, I've still got one set of MicroMasters I think I need to review. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.